Well, hello there. I am coming to you from my kitchen, sunburned. <laughs> anyway, I am trying to moisturize and help my skin repair itself. I know better. I forgot to put the sunscreen on and I got sunburned. So anyway, this is my weekly menu plan that I'm going to share with you. And I just got back from Sprouts and I'm gonna share that with you. They got hit by lightning. So all their computers were down. And I guess with that, a lot of their produce had to be taken off the shelves. So I didn't get exactly all the stuff I wanted, but I got some things that I will share with you and I will share with you my menu plan for the week. And Friday, we went to a Mexican restaurant and we had a wonderful, wonderful time. And then Saturday, we had takeout. And then on Sunday, I made roasted chicken and the roasted chicken was amazing. I used that Pioneer Woman's Anything Goes seasoning again and it makes the chicken come out so yummy. The house smells so good. But I'm gonna turn you around. I'm gonna show you my Sprouts haul. It's small, it's not that big. It, it might've been bigger if, if I could've if the computers weren't down. Everybody was okay, it got hit in the middle of the night and they're fixing it and everything is gonna be okay. But that's that was strange. Our house got hit by lightning, um, I think in 2012, and it knocked the cable box out. So that was exciting. But I hope you all are doing well and I missed doing my mini plan the way I normally do it. So I'm excited to share with you and I will turn you around, okay? Oh, and I wanna do a weather check, a quick weather check, because I wanna show you the weather. This is the weather today on Monday. It is going to be in the high 70s, like 78, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I would totally run in this if I wasn't sunburned. Remember to wear your sunscreen. <laughs> I am so burned. Oh boy. I know better. Yes, I know better. But it's beautiful. It is so beautiful today. Sundresses and flip-flops. Okay, first thing I got at Sprouts was this big thing of water. And I noticed, because I need to drink a lot of water to help my sunburn, it's 50.7 full ounces. And this is about the perfect amount of water that I need to drink in a day. So I'm going to finish this today. And I was thinking of taking the sticker off and just making this bottle, like filling it up every day because it's the perfect amount of what I need. And then I got a little watermelon, a seedless watermelon, and I got a cantaloupe. I got a cantaloupe, I got two cantaloupes at Costco on Saturday and they didn't look very, I cut them up, I'll show you. Okay, so these are the, this is the cantaloupe and they look a little grainy. They taste good, but they don't, they're not gonna last more than a day another day or two and usually cantaloupe lasts a little bit more than than this but that's okay that's always a a gamble when you for me for me i never know what i'm going to get when i cut into these so i got a cantaloupe and i got a seedless watermelon and we'll just come over here for a second because i got some avocados on saturday also at costco and i got some cilantro some more cilantro i got some green apples and I got some nectarines, and I got some little baby oranges. Okay, so let me get the stuff from, from the rest of the stuff I got from Sprouts. Okay, so I got some garlic, and I've got some regular cucumbers. I bought some English cucumbers at Costco, but I also like regular. And then I got some green peppers, and I got the red peppers on Saturday. So, and these are my produce bags. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at Sprouts or Whole Foods. And I think you can get them at regular grocery stores too. I think I've even seen them at Kroger. But I've been using these for years. They're not dirty. I wash them. They just collect, you know, spots. Good spots in the vegetables. Okay. So baby carrots were on sale for 99 cents. So I got two and then I got the organic regular carrots. I like to shred them on salads and do all sorts of things with these, juice with them. And then I needed some ginger. I keep that in my refrigerator. And then I got a red cabbage that I will shred. 
And I used these bags. This one I got for Valentine's Day. And then this was a Whole Foods bag. And I got some Celsius for my husband. And then I got some Castile soap, unscented. And I'm going to use this with my Young Living products. I'm going to make some, some things with this. And then I got some vanilla cookie rolls, and these are really good with some coffee. And I got some squeeze garlic paste. And these are really good. These rice bars, only 92 calories, but they're good. And some purple potatoes. I call them Dutch blue, but they look purple. And these are so yummy. So this was my, um, haul it was really small it's just that their computers were down so I, they didn't have a lot of their produce was taken away so i couldn't get some of their wonderful fresh produce and i'm so sorry that they lost all that produce but so this is celsius that my husband drinks and as i was saying that i use these to-go bags this one i got at whole foods this one i think i got at kroger so cute with little hearts on it Okay, so one more thing before I share my menu plan. When I was at Sprouts, right next to Sprouts is Marshalls. And I ran into Marshalls because they always have these skinny syrups. So I was out of syrups, so I got some cookie dough and I got some cinnamon dolce. And these are both so yummy. And at World Market, you can get these pumps. So what I do is I put these pumps in here and I have my skinny syrup for my coffee. And I need one more. I think I'm one more short because I already have regular vanilla and regular caramel, but I'm the one that uses the, the skinny ones. So I need one more pump. I used, I used the other pump I had for some homemade laundry detergent that I made with Young Living products, which I'm super excited about. Oh, the laundry detergent is amazing. So anyway, I digress as always. So I'm gonna make some coffee and then I'm gonna share my menu plan. And then I also would love to know what your menu plan is too. It will also be on my blog, my menu plan. <laughs> okay, I always, I think I am always the last to know about popular recipes, but I just came across this honeycomb pasta, and this is going to be added to my menu plan this week. And I know I said I was gonna add all those recipes from my trip to California, the meatloaf, the chicken, and the pot roast, and I'm going to do that. It's just not gonna be this week. It'll most likely be next week. And I will explain why, but this weekly menu plan, is all ready to go and it'll be put into my meal plan binder that I have showed you numerous times and it's filling out quite nicely. So every week I make a menu plan and every week I put it in my binder and it's labeled by month. So I have, I can look at any month, any given time and find a, find a idea. So this week on Sunday, we had roasted chicken and we had cheesy al gratin potatoes with green beans, artichokes, and a cucumber and tomato salad. And this was, these were whole artichokes that I steamed and they came out beautiful. And so that leads us for to tonight. And tonight I'm gonna make homemade beef stroganoff with steamed broccoli. And I have um, cucumber and tomato salad left over from last night. So we are going to have that with the dinner tonight. And then tomorrow we have a late doctor's appointment. So we will pick up something on the way home. And then that is one of the reasons why I, I'm not making my week of California dinners, just because we have a lot of things going on and I want to really be able to make these recipes and I don't want to just do them quickly. So I want to make sure I have a lot of time to devote to these recipes that I want to try because I want to have fun. And so we'll have takeout tomorrow and then I'm going to make the honeycomb pasta on Wednesday with some garlic bread, salad, and then I'm gonna make some large meatballs to go with it for the meat eaters. And then 
that will bring us to Thursday. And I'm going to make some chicken tender stir fry with some rice and a salad. And that brings us back to Friday, which is going to be family fun night. And I'm not sure where we're going to go, but it'll be fun. And then on Saturday, we'll, we will have something that I home make, or if we have leftovers, I'll clean up the refrigerator, or we'll have takeout. That's up in the air. Saturday is up in the air, but we'll figure something out. And then I do want to make the carrot cake. And I also want to make some sushi rolls and some spring rolls. Mock, of course, I'm not putting real fish in the sushi rolls. It's just going to be veggies. So that is on my menu for the week. It changes sometimes. I don't always make everything, but it is a guide. And I'm super excited to try this honeycomb pasta. If you have not seen what this looks like, you have to look it up on the internet because it is a really, really fun looking dinner. And they do, it looks like honeycomb. It gets its name because it does look like a honeycomb once it's all done. And it is, this one is meatless, so that's why I'm gonna make some really big meatballs to go with it on the side for the ones I want meat. And I'm gonna make some homemade garlic bread and I'm gonna serve it with a salad and that will be a really fun dinner. And I was really looking forward to doing the recipes that I got from California, the ideas, and things are just now settling down from going to California and then going to the beach. So I'm excited to make those, I really am. I love to be in my kitchen, I love to make my menu plans, and I love to put this up on YouTube and share with all of you. And also, this will be on my blog, and let me know what you are making this week and let me know if you've been sunburned <laughs> before oh boy